Welcome back to Good Day. So uh, when it comes to clothes, cars, vacation, even uh, bread, mm -hmm. we're helping you out around here. <laughs> we do. And there's always a trend, yes. isn't there? Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you've seen it as much as I've seen it lately, but I've kind of seen it on social media. Sourdough is the thing. Is that because it's you're a scrunchy mom? The reason oh. why you're seeing this all the time? <laughs> To get to that in a sec. We got some scrunchy moms with us this morning. Okay. Nicole Bullis and Victoria Albright are here this morning to walk us through sourdough. Yes. Thank you for being here today. Yeah, thanks Thank for having you. us. Okay. Uh, before we get into the sourdough bread, I just need to know what, what is a scrunchy mom and why are you two scrunchy moms? <laughs> oh, okay. Victoria, this is more Victoria singing. Scrunchy mom is some a mom that's kind of in between. So we have your crunchy moms who are really into holistic living, um, do things you know very holistically, and then and there's the scrunchy mom who's kind of in the middle and just has a balance of wanting to do better, know better, do better for our family, but also, you know, we might go out for ice cream. You gotta eat the Dorito. It. Yeah, we gotta <laughs> indulge a little bit. Yeah, maybe eat the Doritos eat the, every now and again. Eat the again. Doritos every now and again. Every now and again. So yeah. this looks beautiful, by the way, and we're gonna talk you. how you got here, but it all starts with this little fella here yes. in this jar. Mm -hmm. What is this? That is the sourdough starter. Okay. And it is a living thing. It has uh, bacteria in there that are really good for you, and it is naturally rising. So you feed it, and then you're able to bake with it. Okay, how do you feed it? What do you, what do you feed it? <laughs> it's so, alive. <laughs> yeah, it is alive. So the flour here is what I use okay. from Costco. Okay. And I do even ratios. I don't use a scale. Many people do. Okay. Um, it's based on grams, but I just do cups mm -hmm. or by the eye. Mm -hmm. And I do one for one. So a half a cup of flour, half a cup of water, mix it up. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it even comes out over the jar because it's so active. Right. But that is what you want. Wow. So the starter, though, you got from a friend. Yes. And that's kind of how sourdough is. You you share. Yes. Don't you? We do. <laughs> yeah. So how long does does this live in the jar? Like <laughs> Before until you, bake with until it. you kill it off, oh, but okay. it is actually hard to do. Mm -hmm. um, you can keep it in the refrigerator if you're going out of town. Mm -hmm. You can leave it on your counter. I actually leave mine on my counter at all times because I'm constantly baking with it. Mm -hmm. And Victoria has... I put mine in the fridge. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't bake as often as she does, mm -hmm. so you know I will put mine in the fridge if I want to take a break for a couple weeks from sourdough mm -hmm. because that will stop the fermentation process. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But then other because otherwise you got to feed it every day, yeah. Yes. Every so day. it's wild yeast, mm -hmm. which is really good for you. Um, the lactic acid in it is actually what the sourdough flavor comes from, okay. and many people are like, oh, that's sourdough, that's the flavor, but it's actually what's in it. Mm -hmm. um, as you keep feeding it, it will get stronger and the bacteria in it is what's good and why your bread would last longer sitting on the counter than uh, what it would just being in the refrigerator. It won't mold as quick with that. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Because sometimes you don't want to eat all of the bread. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's nice that it doesn't uh, mold as quickly. So, uh, from what we're seeing here, is this the sourdough or are these different variations of what you can do? So, this is the sourdough bread. Uh, it's all based on that. Um, there are discard recipes um, which is that's what you made the pretzel bites, pretzel bites mm -hmm. with pretzel bites mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I also made the scones with the discard and then we have bagels here as well so um, I don't discard because I'm baking every other day or every three days whereas people that are not baking as often um, you'll want to scoop some out and then feed it and then do your thing okay so you have to use it, you know, at least mm -hmm. a little bit, you know. Yeah. Um, and, and what is this in here in this beautiful little package? That is bread as well, um, but it's nice to gift. So when I make bread, it comes two loaves, so I have one for the week and one for the freezer. Mm -hmm. oh, or one okay. to pass on to someone else. Oh, that's a nice nice little tip. So uh, what is this? This is a pretty cool <laughs> tool right here. Uh, so what do you use this for? That is my favorite thing. It is a dough hook. So I don't have a fancy machine. I don't have the KitchenAid mixer. Okay. Really? I just, okay. Do this by hand. So you don't need a ton of different utensils or tools or um, pans. I mix it in just this glass bowl. Uh -huh. It sits there. It ferments. So there's different types of fermentation. You do bulk ferments. You can do a cold. Mm -hmm. um, just depends on the time frame and the recipe. It, is there a technique of using this? Can you show me? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just, 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 yeah, just like that. Well, and we That's were showing okay. pictures of your kids helping. Yes, so this is something it. that, you know, kids can do and they can help you with. Um, Victoria, I know, well, both of you all have 
several children. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of kids to go around. And so <laughs> what do they like about being able to help out with stuff like this? My kids, they, well, I, I have one who really loves to help and he loves to pour the ingredients in and it does get messy, but like Nicole was saying, it's really forgiving. So even if, you know, they pour half a cup of flour out, it's okay. It's not really going to mess <laughs> up anything too much. Um, so they love to help, but they really love to help eat. Yeah, uh -huh. sure. Okay, they really wanted those pretzel mm -hmm. bites. So, <laughs> yeah. yes. and, and, and again, watch out because I might eat them all. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, and again, Amanda mentioned like this is trendy right now, mm -hmm. but there are a lot of health benefits mm -hmm. as you were yeah. saying yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. So that has to be important for the family, right? Yes, sure. it is. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I make the loaf bread. You can make the beautiful artisan loaves, mm -hmm. but when you come home with a round versus the sandwich, the kids kind of question. What so, is that, mom? Yeah. <laughs> if you make it look like you would buy something from the store, mm -hmm. then they're more likely to eat it. And mm -hmm. so this is what my kids eat every day for their peanut butter and jelly at school. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Okay. So. And, and health, it's good for the gut. Yes. yes, as you mentioned, that, that bacteria, that fermentation, mm -hmm. it's good for our gut. So I'm trying one. Okay. You mm -hmm. also have these beautiful strawberries from your garden, I know. And yes. what are these little berries down here? Those are gummy berries. I'm going to go not. Yes. I don't want seeds in my teeth. They're on more here. of a tart. Is this the pretzel bite? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yum. Oh, that is great. Yes. Yeah. Homemade, too. So Homemade. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think we had a recipe, too, and I think it was for pretzels, I'm pretty sure. But, I mean, so you can do, you've got scones, you've got pretzel bites, you've got bread. I mean, Bagels. You, I didn't know that you can do um, scones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's actually one of my kids' favorites. So they were Delicious. excited this morning. Just so good. Yeah, it is good. Thank mm -hmm. you, ladies, so much uh, yeah, for this. Thank you. And uh, really inexpensive when it comes to putting all this together. Really mm -hmm. simple. Really, mm -hmm. really simple. Like four simple ingredients mainly for a lot of this. Yeah. So recipes. find a scrunchy mom with a starter. <laughs> yeah. And they'll get you started. Yes. And then you got to feed it every day. And then you feed your family every day. That's right. Yeah. Yes. I like that. Yes. Very good. Ladies, thank you so much. Thank yeah. you. For this. Thank you. Delicious. It sounds like thank a you. proverb or something like <laughs> mm -hmm. that. You know, do mm -hmm. this, feed it, and you feed your family. Mm -hmm. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll finish eating. Yeah. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Mm hmm.